What's up guys? You guys, if you've been following for a little while, you guys remember this build that we did in house with Southern Service Performance in the shop. So we did 2214 Arcons on 325 Nittos. We did a six inch Pro Comp with Pro Comp coilovers. We did Morimoto headlights, Morimoto fog lights. Our guy, Richie Rich, did a bunch of paint match work, color matching work. We had the windows tinted, we did headers, we did cold air intake, we did full custom exhaust, we did tuning. There's a bunch of stuff that we did to the truck underneath the hood. We did more moto tail lights, a bunch more paint match work, custom exhaust, and so on and so forth. So remember that logo. So that being said, we get asked pretty often why we stop selling Archon off-road wheels. By the way, amazing wheels, the Canada market, they killed it. They dropped true directional cast wheels with dope concaves, dope ass designs, affordable pricing, killed it, marketing, killed it. Like very, very impressed with the wheels and was super hyped up with them when they came out. And still am, there's a lot of badass wheels they make. So y'all asked why we don't sell Archons anymore and why we did for such a little bit of time. So probably I think around October, November of last year, I got a letter in the mail that was a cease and desist letter from Custom Offsets. And some of you may not know, but Archon is Custom Offset's in-house wheel brand. It is their wheel. So that wheel is made by Custom Offset's and is sold by Custom Offset's because it is their wheel brand. So that being the case, this cease and desist letter said that was for copyright infringement. For my company name, for my company logo, they wanted me to remove all social media with the company name logo. So pretty much delete the Instagram. So that's four things. Pretty much delete everything and start all over from the hard work I've done to build the company up and get where I am today. So that being said, I ended up taking that over to my lawyer. Long story short, there's a bunch of stuff that went on. They ended up just narrowing down to just the secondary logo. So on their secondary logo, it's a C, a ninja star, and an O, or a star of some sort. That is my old logo, cut out differently. As you can see, it is an E, a big X, and an O. It is not a ninja star. So that is the logo they were fighting over. So... After this first letter came in, they wanted me to completely change my name. All this other shit that they wanted me to do. And we're coming after me for my name, copyright infringement, this is this, all types of stuff, all types of stuff. So we ended up getting down. I changed the logo, the secondary logo, kept the E, kept the X, downsized the X. And I now made the O is now a wheel. So that being said, I used the primary logo was just exclusive offset in the font, outline, strokes, stuff like that. Not anything too fancy. It just kind of, so everybody knew the name. And I did those for stickers as well. Put them on shirts, and much other stuff. Um, the secondary logo is pretty much like the front side of our shirt. And then the back side is set exclusive offset, not EXO on everything. So it was mainly just exclusive offset. Like I said, the EXO was just for Instagram pictures, marketing, stuff like that. And we sometimes would switch it up and use the normal exclusive offset primary. So that being said, we ended up settling with that and just doing a secondary logo change. And then I ended up changing the primary logo as well, just because my guy came up with a new primary logo that I really like, which is the one I use all the time now. I don't really use the secondary logo that much because I like the primary. So that being said, I want to put this out there too. I marketed those wheels because they're great quality wheels and I would have marketed them for free, but I'll put screenshots. I was paid two times, $75 from custom offsets, Archon wheels on PayPal to market Archon Off-Road. I also bought two or three sets of wheels from them and ordered underneath my name, exclusive offset. And had a set, put this set on this truck to go on this truck. We had another set that we did and we dropped shit to set and we we're pushing these wheels for them. And they're, they're great quality wheels. I don't have anything bad to say about the wheels besides, you know, he curved this one, whatever. But a lot of y'all are asking why we don't sell Archon anymore. That's a story why we don't sell Archon anymore because when you're pushing a brand for a competitor that is a competitor that you were kind of in a way looked up to and when i went to daytona truck meet last year i talked to everybody at the custom offsets and archon booth and they all knew who i was said i was killing it as far as marketing was doing they knew who i was and that was pretty dope it's kind of dope to hear that from such a big company to know who i am and the company name period so and they were really cool guys we shook hands talked all types of stuff so to come to find out that i get a cease and desist letter in the mail and ended up having to settle out of court with doing logo changes after i was paid once again paid two times to advertise and market those wheels on exclusive offsets page and selling their product and putting money in their pocket i don't want to sell the products anymore if you want the wheels go to archon off-roads website go to custom offsets website buy the wheels bring them to me i'll put tires on them i'll mount them i do not sell these wheels anymore 
because of what went down and that's it. And the worst part is, is I'd love to sell them. I'd love to sell them, make money off of them. I'd love to sell them to you because there's a lot of guys that want to buy for me and not want to buy for custom offsets because they'd rather buy for me directly because they know me directly, you know, exclusive. And there's no problem with that. There's a lot of competitors. There's a lot of people that like to buy from uh, perfection, custom offsets, and I'll flip flop around and buy from all of us, which isn't a big deal. There's plenty of wheels out here. There's plenty of stuff to sell. There's so much shit to sell. I don't care if you don't buy from me at the end of the day because in the day, we still have a bunch of people talking to us. If we miss out on you, sorry, it sucks. But either way, great quality wheels. If it's something you want, go get them, bring them to me, buy tires from me, I'll mount and balance them for you, whatever you decide to do. But guys, that is the story why we no longer sell Archon off-road wheels because we were almost in a lawsuit of a copyright infringement from custom offsets. And once again, I will put our old logo, the transactional pay file from being paid, and that, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to put the letters out there that I got in the mail because that's that's confidential, it's personal, so on and so forth. Great quality wheels. If you want some Archon wheels, go to the website, order them up custom offsets, ship them to me, I'll mount tires on them. Don't have a problem with them. But there's no reason for me that someone that's going to come after me and try to take me to court over copyright infringement, which clearly was not going to work in court anyways, to then drop from being, changing the name, changing the logo, deleting the social media, all types of stuff, to just settling on a secondary logo change secondary not the primary logo for the company the secondary logo for the t for the company it's I i'm not gonna put more money in their pocket and the worst part is i like all the guys over there junior a bunch of guys over there are cool shit met them in daytona truck meet last year great group of guys that work there and i wish them best of luck i wish everybody best of luck i don't look to have any type of crazy competitors and have any drama out here in the game but y'all want the story on why we don't sell archon off-road and that's the reason why go check them out if you want the wheels Go buy them, ship them to me. I'll mount them on tires, ship them to you, or come pick them up here locally. Not a big of a deal. Y'all have a blessed day.